Owners of the new GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition would no doubt be very pleased with the built-in touch-sensitive LCD display along with that fantastic overall performance, providing the ability to change camera settings quickly and easily, as well as maintain a live view. What's even more useful though is having a separate LCD display with a live view stream for constant monitoring of your captured video, and that's exactly what we have with the Removu R1. Just like the GoPro Hero 3 range, the flagship powerhouse known as the Hero 4 Black Edition does not include a built-in LCD display. That's a luxury for the Hero 4 Silver Edition only. All other owners will need to use the GoPro app, or a separate attachment known as the GoPro LCD Touch Backpack. Regardless of camera model, it's still desirable to have a separate live view, especially when your camera is fixed to a location away from easy viewing. For such situations, we do have the GoPro app. It provides a live view completely separate from the camera itself, but initial connection can sometimes be flaky, and it's not as versatile as this unit. The Removu R1 bridges the gap, providing a live view for your GoPro in a small, neat and highly versatile design. Let's take a closer look. The package clearly displays the Remover unit at the very top. Further within the package, we have a USB to micro USB cable used for charging as well as applying firmware updates, a Velcro wrist strap for wearing the Remover screen just like a wristwatch, a quick user guide, and some Removu stickers. With a matte black plastic finish incorporating a soft rubberized feel for easy grippability, the large 2 inch QVGA color LCD screen dominates much of the front. Note that the LCD screen itself is not touch sensitive, although the shutter, mode and back buttons, along with a recording LED indicator in between the top two, are very easy to operate and provide tactile feedback, thanks to their good size and rubberized finish. A rubber flap on one side covers a reset pinhole along with a micro USB port used for updating firmware and for charging the built-in battery, which should provide a good 3 hours of usage from a single full charge. A small LED on the front of the unit indicates the charging status. Upon removing the USB cable, the flap sits firmly back into place, covering the port well enough to maintain a dust-proof and splash-proof overall unit. Bear in mind the unit is not completely waterproof so it's not advisable to completely submerge underwater but it'll hold up fine in dusty environments or if caught out in the odd patch of rain. The included velcro wrist strap slides into the dedicated slots on the rear of the unit providing a secure method of attaching the unit to a wrist or any other such objects. All in all in terms of hardware and physical aesthetics the Removu R1 certainly looks to be robust, well constructed and more importantly, versatile. Connecting with a GoPro is a relatively straightforward affair. With the camera switched on, enable the Wi-Fi app settings since it's only the Wi-Fi app mode that sends a live data stream intended for the GoPro smartphone app. Next, press the mode button on the Removu to switch the unit on. The Removu will immediately search for any cameras nearby. And display a list of reachable GoPro Wi-Fi signals. Just like any GoPro, the shutter mode selects while the mode button cycles through options. By selecting the chosen camera, users are able to enter the camera Wi-Fi password. Considering the unit has no touch sensitive display, initial setup can be a little lengthy since it involves scrolling through letters to get to the correct one, selecting and then moving on. It's a little tedious, especially if you have a lengthy password, although luckily it's a task only required for initial setup. The unit then connects to the camera and a live view is instantly available. Those with a camera from the GoPro Hero 4 range are also able to connect to the Removu following the same steps of choosing the camera from the connection menu, entering the password and being greeted with the live stream. Once connected the Removu performs wonderfully well. Just as with the LCD backpack we have some useful information on screen, including current shooting mode and battery status, although these can be switched off with a simple press of the back button in the bottom corner if you prefer. The live view on screen is relatively sharp, vivid and especially useful in situations where the GoPro is mounted on areas or items where you cannot always easily see the camera itself. Note that the slight lag between the camera and the live view seen on the GoPro app is still present with the Removu. 
although this is more a limitation with the Wi-Fi chip within the actual camera than with the Removu unit itself. Users are able to scroll through the different shooting modes, as well as navigate camera menus in order to change settings by using the shutter and mode buttons, although with a simple user-friendly layout. Again, just like the camera, the mode button cycles options and the shutter button selects. Maintaining the button arrangement users come to adopt with the camera itself. It's no different here and is just as easy. A playback menu is also present for playing back captured clips on the spot, while a removal settings menu, specifically for the unit itself, allows users to adjust some of the removal settings such as brightness, language, as well as switching to another camera. Very useful for when you have multiple cameras mounted and wish to switch between them when lining up shots. Support between the Removu and the Hero 4 range of cameras is relatively new. As a result, users will find that all camera settings are not yet available through the Removu itself. Only very basic video and photo resolution settings are available at this point, but rest assured that Removu are constantly updating the unit and firmware updates will eventually enable full comprehensive support for the Hero 4. The Removu R1 isn't without its limitations. Just like the GoPro app, users are only able to connect to one camera at any one time, so those who wish to control multiple cameras simultaneously will still be best served with the GoPro remote. In addition, I did suffer the odd crash while using the device, and the limited support for changing all settings with the Hero 4 range of cameras may cause concern to many, although these are issues which should be resolved in the following months through firmware updates, as the Removu is refined even further. What the Removu R1 does do though, is not only provide the ability to line up your shots, but also enable a constant live feed while filming, albeit with some slight delay in video feed, as well as adding the ability to adjust camera settings on the fly, and then play back your recorded footage to make sure you captured the shot, and it does all that impressively well. The physical unit is well constructed, robust and comfortable to use, with a relatively sharp 2 inch display along with easy to use buttons providing tactile feedback. Yes, users will have that slight lag in the video feed, but all in all the Removu is a well thought out and impressive device that makes filming with your GoPro that much easier. Whether you are an action enthusiast or just a casual user, the Removu R1 makes a fantastic alternative to both the GoPro app and the LCD backpack adding both increased flexibility and versatility, and comes highly recommended. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively, feel free to check out the other GoPro videos in my channel by clicking above or in the description box below. Remember to subscribe as there are plenty more GoPro videos and tutorials coming shortly. See you next time in Ifti's Tech Corner.